social media for your coaching and consulting business and you're not getting any likes, followers, or comments, guess what? You're probably doing social media wrong. Hey, this is Laura Agachega, founder and CEO of Viral Growth Media, and we specialize in helping coaches and consultants, usually small business and solopreneurs, scale and grow their businesses so they can actually be a thought leader in their industries and stand the test of time while building a team that supports them working in their zone of genius. We post a lot of content on tips, tricks, and hacks about digital marketing, business operations, and anything to do with how to get your business closer to to success or what you believe is success, right? So make sure to subscribe and click on that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Social media has taken over our lives over the last decade and it's very rare that you'll encounter a person who's not on social media. So it's really no surprise that every business has flocked to every social media platform out there, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, look, even Tumblr, if you're still stuck in 2012 but of course as with any marketing channel you shouldn't expect it to just work out on its own if you're not getting any traction on social media there's probably some things you need to change about the way you're actually using it so here are some common social media pitfalls that you can actually avoid number one trying to appeal to everyone out there the goal is not actually to get as many likes as possible the goal is to capture the attention of your target demographic, the people who are most likely to have a need or want for your product or service. When you try to appeal to the biggest audience possible, you actually end up with very generic posts that in the end doesn't actually stand out to anyone and everyone will just scroll past it. So figure out who your audience is and plan for social media posts that cater to them. Number two, having the same types of posts for all your social social media platform. So audiences that are more active on Facebook have different priorities compared to audiences who are more active on, let's say, LinkedIn. You have to make sure that the type of content that you upload actually makes sense for that platform. Not to mention that each of these platforms have their own rules and algorithms. So you have to make sure you're using that information to your advantage. Number three, not using your other marketing channels to promote your social media accounts. If you want your social media posts to gain traction, there has to be an immediate burst of engagement, preferably within the first few hours. So if you've just created your social media channels, you want to use your current audience, like your email list or people subscribe to your website or even an older social media channel, let them know about your new posts or your new account and where they can get more content from you. This will help you build a following and your posts can reach a wider audience. Number four, not using video. Video is the number one preferred type of content of current consumers. It's engaging, it's entertaining, and it's easier for you to digest. Just take a look at how successful TikTok is, okay? Pretty images and infographics still have value, but you're missing out on a large chunk of your audience by not leveraging video into your social media posts. Number five, not tracking your social media analytics. So there's not like an exact science for every business on what works and what doesn't the kinds of posts that may work for one business even within the same industry may not work for another and tracking your analytics lets you know what type of posts your audience is actually responding to best and at what times and on what days so you can plan your social media posts according and lastly not interacting with your audience you want to create posts that encourage mostly positive conversation and once the conversation starts your brand has to participate so it lets your audience know that you're actually listening and are invested in their thoughts and concerns i want you to make sure that you take notes of these common social media pitfalls and make sure to avoid them starting today if you have any questions for us make sure to like and leave a comment below and you can even tell us what you think we should post next i'll see you guys in the next video